New season two Varshan just dropped me my first unique. But how do you summon him though? Also Gregor the same from Helltides or the Beast of Ice? Let me explain the step-by-step -step summoning and also show you the loot tables of all these bosses. And there will be a link in the description below where everything is gathered in one file. So you can always look it up. Now let's stick with the example of Varshan because he can already be achieved in World Tier 3. And then I'll explain Gregor the Gavanic Saint as well. It says Whispers here. And as you reach World Tier 3 and start doing Whispers and here, I highly recommend Blood Harvest. Always do the Blood Harvest Whispers because you need an, around 9,000 potent blood to level 3 every single ability. And as you get the Whisper done and go to the tree, the cash dropping from the tree will now contain Gurgling Hats, Trembling Hands, and Severed Femurs. With these three collected, you teleport to the Tree of Whispers and head straight into the hidden burrow be below the Tree of Whispers. Now, as an interesting heads up, as I was going through this malignant tunnel, there is quite some minions in here, and I dropped the Blackened Femur here as well. So there is a very slim off chance that these enemies seem to also drop the resource needed to actually summon Martian. It's just very unlikely though. Now here at the altar, you can summon him if you have all three. So do this together with your friends because they can drop uniques as you can drop uniques. Keep in mind, he's hard. I tried to do him with level 45 alone. I had to get a friend that was 52 and we still struggled a little bit. So from level 55 on, he should be a pushover. But before that, challenge. Now, Varshan, for example, for the Necromons, I can drop the Bloodless Scream, the Deathless Visage, and the Death Speaker's Pendant, as well as Mother's Embrace. And these are two items that are needed for an absolutely S-tier Blood Surge build. Keep in mind, he doesn't always drop them, but there's a very high chance for it to happen. Now, what do you do if you have two Gurgling Hats or 20 Gurgling Hats and none of the other resources? You head to any Alchemist, and the Alchemist here is going to have the summoning item shenanigans. And here I can buy a Malignant Body Cache. Contains a Gurgling Hat, Black and Femur, or Trembling Hand. So I essentially gamble in my Gurgling Hats, and I might be getting what I'm looking for. Now, this costs Abstruse Sigils, which are obtained by dissembling legendary items. So, pff, rather do more Whispers than going for this. Because you anyways have to do the Whispers as you're going for... Because you anyways have to do the Blood Harvest Whispers. And whenever a Legion event crops up, do these Whispers as well. Like here, this one is, is a Grim Favor Legion event. World bosses, they're way more often now. And as a secret fast track, always do the PvP area if you're not in hardcore. Because this one is so easy to kill for five favors and then just hand in the season, that's another eight favors. This can be done with both PvP areas so quickly and gives you another two caches. That one couldn't be easier. Now, what about Grigor the Gavanic Saint? Because there is the Helltide now, the new Helltide. Before Season 2, your goal was always to get the Chest of Mysteries. So get 250 Cinders, Chest of Mysteries, right? That goal kind of changed now because there's a new chest to get. And that one is called the Tortured Gift of Living Steel. The problem here is that this chest needs 300 Cinders, right? But is also guarded by a big-ass demon who is level 63. And not only is he level 63, he's Lightning Enchanted and Electrified and Shock Lanced. So you can imagine, like, I touch that chest and he goes super bonkers. I tried to kill him with level 50. It, I sadly died and lost 150 cinders. So it was quite the challenge. Now he's just a little, little, now he's just a little bonus. You need to open this chest for living steel. And the best part is it just reads on the living steel where you need to go. Forged in the Hall of the Penitent within central dry steps to summon a powerful enemy requires two in World Tier 3 and five in World Tier 4. Now, these chests also reset on the hour. So just as the Tortured Gift of Mysteries for 250, every hour the position changes. And yes, Helltides.com already has this included. You can go here. This is the Living Steel chest. It can appear in four different locations per region, actually in even more locations, but they'll mark you where it actually is. So you don't have to search for that, plus the events, because again, Farming Cinders, the easiest was always do the events that are around the map to get the most amount of Cinders, and then with your 300 Cinders, hand that in. So technically, you could get two of these if there's an hour flip happening, but that's going to be 600, and if you get two, that's 1,200. It's going to be hard, actually, to summon Grigor. Whispers is so much easier. 
unless you really, really need an item. And for me, it would be the Blood Arsons Cross, but I can get this one also later from Lord Zier or from the Beast of Ice, I think. I might not even bother with this one personally yet. Now, the Hall of the Penitent can be found in the middle of the Dry Steps right here next to the Forgotten Depth. That's where you have to head to summon Gregor. Now, it's very deceiving to actually summon them in World Tier 3 already. But if you think about it, you might want to keep these materials for World Tier 4. Because if you kill a World Tier 4 Varshan and a World Tier 4 Gregor, you will also get from these two respectively materials for Duriel. Because if you do this in World Tier 3, that, that ain't happening. I already killed him. I didn't get anything. Therefore, as deceiving as it is to do it early, I mean, for Varshan, probably, but Gregor, it doesn't just seem worth the hassle to do in, as you really want to have the max level item power versions of these uniques. So you might wait for level 70 to do them, and then for level, I don't know what level you actually have to be for Duriel, but we'll see about that. Now, there's still Lord Zir and the Beast of Eyes, and Lord Zir is for doing Legion events. You will get exquisite blood, one per Legion event, and you will need nine in total to summon him. If you do a world boss, that's three exquisite blood straight away. But yeah, nine is quite a lot. Then again, you're going to do a lot of Legion events. You're going to do world bosses. So you will have it eventually. And the same goes for the Beast of Ice. And that is just doing tier 21 Nightmare Dungeons. And tier 21 Nightmare Dungeons plus, you're going to do plenty to get your glyphs up. So... That one is an absolute freebie because you can get all the materials for the Beast of Ice one after the other. Now there's another boss that is actually hidden in the Blood Harvest event. And it's always at this skull. Let me show you. In order to summon him, you will need 150 Blood Lures. Lures? Lures? Which alone you will have a hard time achieving. So this boss is really only for you and your friends if you're actually working on this together. And you straight away ride to the skull, and there you'll find these pedestals. And they need you to put 50 lures, lures in. Don't do that straight away, because it's 50, 50, and 50. This will start an event where tons of seekers are attacking you. Minions, generals, copies of yourself. And then finally, there is a big boss coming. All of this will net you a lot of potent blood. And just to give you a perspective again, in order to get every single power unlocked and upgraded to level 3, you will need a total of 9,000 potent blood. So anything that gives more potent blood is more than welcome. Now as a final heads up, legendaries can still drop everywhere in the world. It's just more likely to drop at those bosses. And it doesn't hurt that when you're doing already something, to kind of get like bonus rewards, bonus materials that just give you more guaranteed awesomeness. Why not? Don't worry, all these tables in the description below linked in one big image or so you can actually look them up. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about the new bosses? I, I quite like this. It makes everything have a bonus meaning. And that is really incredible. And I enjoy that. Now, who are you going to be farming? And if you're looking for Blood Harvest Explained or the Super Top Necro builds, check them out.